Hello and welcome back to Let Me Ask You A Question, everyone's new favorite channel on YouTube. We just want to come right out and say thank you to all of our new fans, old fans, and future fans. Um, honestly, the views coming in, the support you guys are giving us is awesome, and we couldn't be happier. With me today, as always, is the Vin Man. Say hi, Vin Man. What's going on, everybody? And you know me as Rob. Yeah. First topic of this new series is the Battlefield franchise. Ooh, Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Vin, when you actually brought this idea to me, I was kind of like, I'm a big Battlefield Huge. fan. I've played them since 1942, and literally every iteration in between there. Yeah. Huge Battlefield fan. Yeah. So when you brought this to my attention, I was kind of like, I have too much to say about <laughs> this because I'm going to freak out. Well, we know where it's going. Let's touch base on that first, okay? E3 just announced that they were going to have the expansions and it was yeah. going to be World War II based on Japan versus U.S. Well, it's yeah, it's a Pacific theater. Yeah, yeah. So we know where they're taking the game moving from, I guess, fighting German forces more towards fighting Japanese forces. Mm -hmm. Where I want to see the series go, to be honest with you, is I want them to bring it back to modern times. Really? And I, I don't want to uh, mistake the viewers or anything. When we say where the series is going, I don't mean just Battlefield Five. I mean Battlefield in general, okay? Um, I want to see it be brought back to modern because you said that you played Battlefield, five, uh, Battlefield since 1942. Yeah. Okay, so you're still playing the same game 10 years later. That's no, I'm playing a worse saying. version. I'm, paying, I'm playing a better graphics worse version of 1942 43 and 44 so you've played call of duty right i have played call of duty i'm not a big call of duty guy i don't want to st do the controversy thing but call of duty is just not my cup of tea yeah and this battlefield 5 and even battlefield 1 started it battlefield 5 looked at the call of duty franchise and said i want some of this I want some of this. I'm going to pepper it over here. Yeah. And you see a lot of Call of Duty players bled into the Battlefield franchise. Which is odd because they have such a contrast in gameplay. They uh, did have a contrast in gameplay. I felt like World War II Call of Duty could not stack a candle to Battlefield 1. or Was that a thing? Stack a candle? <laughs> um, what the hell did that come out of? I feel like it couldn't hold a flame. Ah, that's it. It couldn't hold the flame to Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5 because it just sucked. Battlefield 4 was incredible. One and of the best ones, for One sure. of the best ones. I remember, like, that train area, like, where you were in, like, you know, like, you can go down into the train station, and there was some intense Operation shootout. Metro. See, I'm glad you brought oh. that up because that is the Call of Duty map. So people that play Call of Duty and bled into... Battlefield is they got sick of what Call of Duty was with the, the tactical nukes and, yeah. and all the nonsense. So they switched over to Battlefield because it was a different type of experience, but they still wanted it to play as Call of Duty, which was weird. And Call of Duty players like that close, tight map with choke points and kill streaks. Yeah. And Battlefield is all about playing smart, be tactful, slow, and squad team based combat. So with Operation Metro and Operation Locker and Battlefield 3 and 4, those ones just turn into a meat grinder, and all the Call of Duty players went to there. So when you smash cut to Battlefield Five, where the franchise is currently, is you have meat locker locations. Battlefield Five's their maps aren't really that huge, and the one map in Battlefield Five that's really that big is called Hamada. Yeah, one of the lowest rated ones because yeah. you have a lot of players that are like I'm sick of Call of Duty, and I want to play this Battlefield where the planes are getting shot out of the air and. You know, you're doing like the oh, backflip, yeah, jutsu sick. kicks. It's sick. It's awesome when you see that happens. Yeah. But my fear is that the Call of Duty players, and I don't mean this in, in a negative light, no. that the Call of Duty players don't get to experience that side of Battlefield. Yeah. And that creates a divisional split right now where you have, I want, I'm not trying to be a jerkwad here, but the real Battlefield players know what the experience they're going to get. Yeah. The Call of Duty or the half-baked Battlefield players are kind of like, whoa, you know, I've never shot a plane out of the sky. And those are the scumbags that are laying down with the bipod in the shadows, laying down across the or camping a, with a tank in the spawn because they don't really know how to play Battlefield. And that's its current problem as a player base doesn't know what to do. I know you're a super fanboy, but let me just ask you a question. Hit okay? me with it. You have to be in World War II fatigue by now. No, 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 you no, no, no. You have no. to be. 
Are you because saying I have to be from the other Battlefield versions? One? The battlefields before Battle, uh, like you said, 1942. Then we went to Battlefield One. Now Battlefield Five is just what Battlefield One should have been, but but slightly tweaked. And I bought, the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I spent 120 dollars on Battlefield Five because I bought it twice. Oh, let on let me, one and five. Let me hit the brakes a little bit. So. The reason why I don't feel like I have Battlefield or World War II fatigue is yeah. because Battlefield Five, currently in its current state, does not feel like it's World War II. And I know I'm not wrong. There's other people out there. They, here's what they decided to do. Okay. They decided to take inspired by maps or skirmishes that no one heard about, make it like that, splice the Battlefield style combat with a little bit of Call of Duty meat grinder stuff. Yeah. And have the squad call in assists, and people are calling in JV1 rockets and blowing up bridges and stuff. And they reduced a lot of like the destruction of everything. Yeah. So currently, it doesn't feel like World War II. It just kind of feels like reskinned guns. And they were kind of, yo, this gun will be kind of cool here. And let's randomly put this. This map is going to suck, but let's design it in a way. This map is going <laughs> to suck, but. <laughs> but, but they design yeah. it in a way where they know the choke points are going to be. Absolutely. So <clears throat> it just doesn't feel like World War II. So when I went backwards and I thought, hey, you know, Battlefield 1943 and 44, when you had Iwo Jima and all that stuff, yes, we had iconic battles and we had Midway and all that stuff, but the shooting felt on par. There wasn't like weird UI popping up and nonsense like that. I know what they were trying to do with this game. It's because of the Call of Duty players out there. I'm just kidding. It was really because from Battlefield 1, people complained that there wasn't a lot of cosmetics and things to customize. Yeah. So they decided to throw in like ACOG scopes and stuff in Battlefield 5, and it feels out of place. Well, yeah. I was just going to say that to me, though, wanting a modern shooter from EA is is the the uh, Recticles. Is that, that Reticle. how you pronounce it? Reticle. Reticle. Um, when you get the ones that have the dot or the hologram, and you're supposed to be in World War II, and of course that didn't exist. It was all iron sights. Um, that disconnects uh, the world for me as yeah. far as, you know, me being immersed into this World War II German fight when I look down and I see a hologram uh, uh, reticle. But, uh, but that's also a saving grace for me too because that's what I want. I, can you imagine if Battlefield Five only had iron sights? Where I want to see this series go is definitely into modern warfare. World War II, uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. I seriously, that's why this Call of Duty this year is Modern Warfare. You know, the new one. Well, it's like, it's rebranding that they're going back to. Yeah, that's but that's what I like, like this robot thing coming out of the side of my gun and flying around my guy. And like, that's cool to me. Like, I don't always want to have like the old weapons. I, I feel like people are going to be mad at me about this because they I'm feel already like, mad at you. <laughs> they feel like the skill comes from using an old weapon, using iron sights and having that real sense of satisfaction that you took that guy out without these weird space age super uh, futuristic guns and stuff. And I get the allure of that and, and the challenge. It adds a, a level of challenge. Uh, it adds a challenge to people, for me at least, when I play with older weapons in a game where I do have to try to be more on point at what I'm doing. All I'm hearing is that I suck and I need help because I suck. Oh, I can never use a sniper so rifle in <laughs> any of these games. Boy, ever. Case closed. Nobody stay but, still. Stand still so I can shoot you. <laughs> but... Battlefield is all about squad-based combat, right? It's play the objective. Yes. PTFO yes. Is, is what a lot of people say. So Battlefield is all about objective-based play. And yes, of course you want to get kills and stuff because that's the fun part. However, when I let's say I was playing World War II for Battlefield. Okay. About here's where I want from it. When I play as a medic, you know, standard issue rifle, you know, a, a sidearm as well too. And you can still keep the same revive stuff. But the reason why everything feels so scatterbrained is because the damn assault class can do everything. They put an ACOG scope on their rifle. They're taking down snipers way in the distance. That's they're true. beating out yeah, machine guns. True. They're blowing up tanks left and right. Yeah. So Battlefield Five misses the mark on squad-based combat because it's too heavily influenced 
by Call of Duty, and Call of Duty got too heavily influenced by Battlefield, and they just had a hodgepodge of genres, and they That's lost true. their identity. That's so true. what I want for Battlefield is to find your true identity again. There is no way that you can sit here and tell me that the next EA game, the next Battlefield that game comes out, you want it to be old. You, Vietnam. Oh, Vin. You want it to be... Do Don't you, or do say you that want to me. Be, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, but... but you're so you're you have zero old war fatigue. No, you, I, I don't you, because it's not it hasn't been it's still not done right. They well, didn't give me 1940. I don't want to say give me 1943 again because I'm a garbage person and I only live in the past. I, you, you know, I, I want a better version of it. Truth, truthfully, they did have a futuristic shooter. It was called Star Wars Battlefront. You shut uh, up right now. <laughs> I'm not saying that I wouldn't like to see Battlefield Vietnam. I'm saying I kind of would like to see Battlefield 6 be a Battlefield 4 remake with all of the things they learned from 5, yeah. but in modern times. I want, there was something about Battlefield 4 that makes me still want to play it to this day, and I don't know what it is because I have a ton of fun when me and you play Battlefield Five. It's great. Oh, and by the way, that's another point. I can't play that game alone. I don't know what it is. Because you suck. <laughs> I, yeah, I, it must be, but I only play when you want to play with me online because I, I, I it's not fun. Like I, it, I need to be with another player talking to them. If I'm just surrounded in blueberries, I might as well just shoot myself. Well, that's because you probably are a blueberry. You, <laughs> the thing is, before we move move on, is that Battlefield is also about finding your own play style. Yes. So if you're a sniper, be a sniper, but understand snipers relocate. They have different positioning. Yes. They go for the headshots. They take down key targets. They don't just camp in their damn spawn with a 400 times scope with a glint on. They're like, you can't see me. Oh, my God. So find your own play style. For me, I'm a surprise player and i'm a flanker so when i see all the blueberries like everyone formed the choke and everyone <laughs> just stands there shooting at, a, at everyone yeah. i'm like guys the whole left you, side is open yeah like it's 1777 yeah, and I'm we're like, all just like just go that first way. line boom and so line. the amount of kills i get because yeah. i attack people that are out of position mm -hmm. that's what it's about oh i go all the way around mm -hmm. i'll and go I, all I the see way around you get sniped in the head and i'm like wow Finny just died and i go and i get the rest of the kills yes. no 100 percent. i mean that that's the way to play that game i don't know why everybody clusters together in battlefield so, i feel like to answer what you were saying is i'm not saying you're playing wrong you're playing wrong but in battlefield franchise maybe it's different for four uh, wherever it's going now yeah is it's always been the same though Find your play style. Yeah. If you don't find your own play style, you're not going to have fun. If you had one choice to play one battlefield for ever, would it be four or five? No. Just no. It would be get ready, internet. It would, of course, be bad company, too. And the reason well, behind uh, that. The campaign was great. You know one plays shooters for campaign. Yes, they do. Absolutely. This guy right here. Because <laughs> that's why you're bad. <laughs> anyway, Bad Company 2 took the freedom of first-person shooting and the destruction, right? So the destruction was on point. You could blow up almost anything. Yeah. You had a lot of vehicles. Each different thing, like class, had their own great abilities. Like a sniper long range is you're not running out in the middle of the open. You're going to get your head blown off. Yeah, yeah. The support... At range, he's he's going to suppress you. He's not really going to kill you. The assault player is medium. Everyone had their role to do. In Bad Company 2, another big thing that I loved about it was everyone had the same map restrictions. If I was good enough to sneak past your tanks, your dudes, I kill the back lines, and I get to your, your spawn, and I kill some stuff back there, that's you and your team's fault. Actually, you're right about that. Why does Battlefield have, like, the gray zones where they could be in the weekend? It should three, be. Battlefield 3, 4, 1, and Battlefield 5 suffer from the same problem. Yeah, it should be one border. Dude, one... it suffers from the same problem. Absolutely. You could be the camping. I didn't camping. think about that. Dude, they, you can have... I'm, me and my brother get irritated about this because we're flankers. So if I see you sniping up there, I'm like, oh, you're going to die. And you can't. But you can't. Leaving he knows, the battlefield. Five, four. Yeah, you're but like, he oh. knows that sniper knows he's protected, and that's why. He's yeah. being a douche because he knows yeah. nothing can kill me 
because I'll just I'll just stay here and be a garbage player. It won. Okay, but. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Battlefield 4 was one of the first next-gen titles that we got to play yeah. with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And I remember being so captivated visually. And when I was on top of that skyscraper and it fell <laughs> and your parachuting the down, it was dope. Yeah. that blew my mind. And I don't have – and in Battlefield 1, and I can't believe I'm going to give it a compliment – but when the blimp came down and exploded, and then you fought in the exploded blimp, that was Battlefield 1, yes, correct? Yes, it was. That blew my mind. I did not have that moment in Battlefield 5 yet at all. There wasn't any spectacular blimp exploding or building falling that really captivated me. And that's another thing that I want the series to come back, uh, to bring back, is... More cinematic, intense moments. Have you had a cinematic moment that you were like, <gasps> in Battlefield 5? Well, you know no? I'm going to have a douche answer right now, obviously, but... I am so good. <laughs> I am so good at Battlefield that I create those moments. For me, I don't think you understand, Vin. I have those moments all the time. And yeah, my brother yeah. and I, we say this the whole time where for us playing, it feels like we're playing Battlefield and everyone else is playing Battlefield 5, the experience. And they see us play and they're like, whoa, did you? S-? I'm just going to say my, play, my, my profile name is A Drifter if you find me, whatever. But they'll be like, whoa. I've never seen a drifter do that before. Oh my gosh, she's surrounded by 10 guys. Like, I wonder what's going to happen, eat popcorn. And I'm sitting there like, oh my God, how am I going to live through this? And I'm dodging stuff. I'm like, Neo, you know, dodging. Oh, everything. yeah, yeah. I've seen him play. He is very, very, very And good. I'll be surrounded by these dots. And then I'm just yeah. like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Whoosh, and I kill them. And I look back, and the blueberries are like, oh, hey, man. There's a tank there, and they're still not fighting it. Yeah. And I'm a sniper. I know. That's the worst. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Um, so you create your own moments. Oh, my God, yes. But don't you like the cinematic moments that I'm telling you? Or is it just me? I don't know if it's just you. The thing is, for me, is I don't like cheapiness. So, But is it, though? No, no, I don't mean, like, the, the skyscraper. Now, that looks awesome. The blimp coming down looks awesome. I don't like that I'm holding off the front lines myself, and then I know where a blimp from the sky crushes me because it's not my fault. Yeah, I understand that, but, okay, but you still didn't answer my question. At the same time, you haven't had any of those moments that you didn't create. The oh, worlds well, are just kind of stagnant. I mean, I've had random planes, like, crash in front of me that get shot down and stuff. Well, yeah, but that's, that's... You're saying that the that's world nature itself, of battlefield. the yes. level itself doesn't feel alive. It's very... It's very static. Problem with that is most of that stuff, unfortunately, happens to be like player side. Is They try to lie to you and say that stuff is going to be server side. And what that means is when you see a storm, you know damn well I'm seeing the storm. And when that storm clears, it's cleared for you. In Battlefield 1, there would be this like unlivable fog. That's and true. you couldn't see. Yes. And on someone else's screen, it was clear as day. Yes. And you're like, how did you just snipe me through that? I can't even see you a millimeter in front of my face. Yes. So all that stuff just turns out to be a horrible game experience. And that's the n- next thing for Battlefield is figuring out is authenticity, does that outrank fun? And they need to find a happy medium. I don't think it should. I want to have fun when I'm playing my games, but... The road they're going on and what they have fixed and stuck with it and apologized, that looks awesome. I want the ACOG scopes and stuff to just be deleted. I want iron sights on the guns because it would feel more real. But also, you know, you wouldn't have people camping in space be like, well, I know I could see them with my lay down gun. The more I, I'm going to listen to this video back and I'm just going to add up my douche tally points. If someone can do that for me, that'd be fantastic. Well, yeah, I mean, so I don't know if up, there's enough room in the comments. I don't to think be honest so. With you. I think they block off. <laughs> add up my douche comments, but this is the next douche comments with I was exclusively a hardcore player. So in Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, 4, and 1, when it finally came out, and I'll pause on 5 for a sec. 
there was har- a hardcore mode. Yeah. So I could only play in hardcore mode. So if I play Battlefield 3 in normal mode, I literally would hate the game. I say, this is unplayable garbage. I don't like shooting you in the head and you live. Yes, I do like hardcore with any, mode. With any caliber yes, bullet. Like I, I totally agree. There's different drop-offs. Yeah. But I like when there's no map. Um, minimalistic HUD. Yes. Like, I don't like the crosshairs. Yes. I like having the ADS to do it. Yes. A lot of people don't like that, and then they shied away from it. But that one also taught me so many other things for Battlefield, being patient, knowing when to shoot, when yeah. not to shoot, and listening. So your characters will give you more information than you could ever know, is they'll call things out. So in the older Battlefields, when I needed to spot an enemy, I would spot and say, enemy soldier over there. The current... With I'm sorry, the, the previous Battlefields in non-hardcore mode, it just turned into you were just shooting at little tiny triangles. Yep, yep. You weren't shooting at soldiers anymore, so that is immersion breaking. You want to talk about immersion breaking? Shooting at glowing triangles is bad. So you're saying that for the series, you would like the next game that comes out with the Battlefield name to still be in the past. You would not like to see another Battlefield 4-esque type if game. I had, let's say someone sat me down in a room and they're like, Rob, it's time. What should we do next? We've done the future with Battlefield 2140 or 21, uh, kill me now. I don't know. Yeah, it's 2140 something, 21, whatever. Yeah, yeah. We've done the future. We've done modern. We've done the past. What should we do? Well, you know what would be dope? Maybe if... Each map you played on, let's say I selected Conquest, and it put me in the future. And then the next map was Vietnam. And then I play a World War I version, because you have all these games already. You have those assets. You a have the time-traveling battlefield? But it's not time-traveling on purpose. Like, if I'm playing multiplayer, let's say I play Conquest, and then the first level, it, it feels like Battlefield 4. You know, I have <sighs> thermal and stuff. But then the, that map ends, and the next one starts, and out of nowhere, we're storming the beaches of Normandy and things like that. I got it. You know how they can implement that to make sense? It's telling a story, and it's showing how it got there through the stages of time. Yeah, like the stages of war. Leading up to the future where all of these events led to this m- moment, and that's the fight you're having in the future to see the outcome of what started back in the past. Now, Finn, like I said, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't care about the single-player story of, of Battlefield. No, but I'm <laughs> saying multiplayer-wise. Like, well, what's the Does that have to be a story in multiplayer? Well, no, 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 grand no. operations you're talking grand about. Grand operations. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. If they did grand operations, but through time... I mean, that'd be... That, yeah, exactly. That would be awesome. But I mean... Other than the the special modes that pop up, yeah, Battlefield in its normal form is Conquest, right? Conquest is just yes. t- like eight points, sometimes four points, and you fight over them. So let's say it's Conquest. So let's say I spawn in, we turn the game on, you join my squad, we go in there. And out of nowhere, whoa, we're kind of in like the futurist. You know, I have like a rifle with a cool scope on it, yeah, 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 thermal, yeah. and I have these cool things. But then that map ends, we win, we lose, doesn't matter. Then the next map ends, and out of nowhere... It's Battlefield Vietnam. Yeah. There's different weapons and stuff. And you're like, whoa, you know, there's no, there's no, it's iron sights. What's going on? It's just a different experience. That's really You'll a be able idea. to customize all your different soldiers. Like you would go into your armory or your, your company and you would see like, whoa, I have like 10 different classes of soldiers to kind of change things up on. Yeah, yeah. That's why I want, people want customizations in Battlefield. Yeah. They wanted it in five. That's why it became this mess of what it is. I would like to see, um, Another Battlefield 4-esque game. Okay. Okay. That's one. Yes. I would like to see uh, shorter loading times and let them do something with the queue. I understand that there is only a certain amount of players, and if I join you and it's already full, I got to well, wait. I kind of get it. server program, so but that, it that would, fixes that. It would be nice if there was like a training area that I can go to to kind of shoot around. There is. Then, and then a thing pops up where it's like your game starts in five seconds. Okay, so pr- okay, I'm gonna. You know what I'm saying, right? Then, like a train. I'm gonna there. cut you off before you get executed because okay. most of the stuff that you're bringing up is already in the game. No, it's not. <laughs> I've waited in the queue with the main menu for 20 minutes to join your game. Why can't I be in a training area where I'm learning different guns and I can hone my skills for when the queue f- empties I don't know. and I can jump in? I don't in? know. Here's what I'm saying: Battlefield. That's not a good idea. <laughs> no, it's not. What? You'd rather look at the main menu for 20 minutes. You're doing other it than wrong. going into a Tell training me area. Tell to quit my game if you're wait- if you're waiting for more than seven minutes. I will quit my game and we will join a well, server we together. We could have been doing this a long time ago. I, I- stop. Okay. All right. So 
Battlefield Road to, Road for tomorrow is have the same map restrictions for all players. Absolutely. Be period specific for the content you are making. 100%. And give me hardcore mode. Yes. If you do those things and put no damn loot boxes in your games, no store where I can buy an eye patch, you will be fine. The players will return. Create your own identity. Whoo! Let us know what you guys think. We have a couple of more of these coming out soon. You don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to be a game? Is it going to be a movie? Is it going to be Reader's Digest? We don't know we yet. We have no clue. That's the best part. But let us know what you thought about this video. What do you think about Battlefield for the road for tomorrow? What do you think about current Battlefield? What do you think about Vinny? And uh, we will see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, guys.